I always find it is easier to explain property tables using a TV or PV diagram. So here I have a TV diagram with different pressures and a vapor liquid dome. You should remember that these lines are for increasing pressures. If this is P1 pressure, uh, this temperature, T1 let's say, is the saturation temperature for that pressure. So in saturation region, inside this vapor liquid dome, you only can have one temperature value for any given pressure. The inverse is true too. For any given temperature, you only can have one pressure value. So we say in the saturation region, temperature and pressure are dependent. When you are given temperature, you know the pressure just because it is saturated. On the other hand, when it comes to superheated region, for any given temperature, you can have multiple pressure values. So we say in the superheated vapor region, temperature and pressure are independent properties. So how do we read superheated water tables? I told you that uh, there are many tables for each pressure. So let's say that uh, we are given that the pressure of the system is 4 megapascal. We have to select this mini table and we have to decide what is the temperature. And then we can read what are our uh, properties like specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy or entropy. Unlike the saturated tables, you can see there is only one value for each property.